Well, welcome to the island. I always do like spirit fingers. I feel like I need to say something as I move across the picture so you can tell that something's happening on Ampersand Island. And today we are still, we're not up here. We're not at the camp. We're not in the village. We're not at the Renaissance Festival. We're not in whatever this is. I still, you, you know what? I never noticed that little square I drew there. That's going to be something. I just noticed it now. We're not in the field. We're not at the lighthouse. We are still, we're going to be back in the city again for a special birthday request. Because uh, we have not established a library yet. And I've got the perfect librarian. But first, toy of the day. As you know, I've been doing a toy every day. And I found, I'm going to do three toys. This is like... Gosh, I'm, I'm, until I can go out and run around shops more, I'm going to run out of toys. But I, these are all kind of sort of somewhat interconnected. So I've got three of these little keychains. This, to the uninitiated, this is Pippi. Pippi from, oh, he can't really say that very well. It's kind of dirty. Mother, which was known as Earthbound, a Nintendo game. But it was just in Japan, the first one. Uh, the Super Nintendo, Super Famicom one later came out in the United States. Pippi was not in this one, but everybody knows Mr. Ness here. Ness, who was in uh, Earthbound and uh, Smash Brothers and all that stuff. Because I know our subject today is, uh, I think, a Nintendo Switch fan, maybe. So maybe, maybe she knows Ness. So this is Ness. I did play a lot of Earthbound, but I never finished it. And then I've got one more. I think this is a super recognizable character. Also... Isabel, who is from Animal Crossing, which is sweeping the nation, including here since it came out. So um, Isabel is very kind and sweet and works in the office with Tom Nook on Animal Crossing. So three, count them, three toys of the day. Look at all that little detail on that little Isabel. And Mr. Ness in his stripey shirt. And it kind of looks like his pants are falling down. What is going on with you? It almost looks like he's blushing, too. He's got those little lines. He's like, oh, I forgot my belt. Oh, I turned it around. I was half expecting to see his underwear. And here's Pippi looking at him. Oh, yeah, she's looking to the side like, oh, my goodness, Ness. I think your pants are falling down. I'm just going to keep my arms extended out like I want a hug, but I don't. All right. Toys of the day. That was kind of a longer one. <laughs> I was having too much fun with those. Um, so today, it is a special. It is a special birthday. It's a special birthday for my friend Walt's niece, and her name is Ellie. And he asked kindly, he's like, "Do you think there's a possibility that you can get Ellie in on this island action and get her on the island?" And I said absolutely not how much how, how much money you got in your wallet pal no i said absolutely of course it's ellie's birthday and i think he said she's either turning 10 or maybe she's 10 and turning 11 maybe she's turning 10 which is a a good age lola is 11 and stella's eight and all those ages are good so i just and uh i was thinking at first that i was going to do her as, uh, maybe as a cat because I know she likes cats from what I hear too. And, uh, but I just decided I have just I have so many darn cats. And I was just telling Lola on the video the other day that we do not have a, uh, a deer on the island. So I thought maybe she could be, be a deer. Should I give her hair? Is it going to make her look like a horse? Uh, maybe not. Uh, I don't know. We'll start sketching it out and see. As you can tell, I always pre really plan these things out. Um, nah, nah, maybe we'll be all right. Maybe I'll put like a couple spots on there. And no, nah, that'll look deary enough, right? And she's going to be work. She'll, she, she works, volunteers at the library. I think she can, I think it just sounds nicer maybe if she volunteers her time. And I thought maybe she could be reading to a group of kids. Cause I know Walt was, I was talking to Walt and he's like, what's she doing? She's like, oh, she, you know, she like, she really loves animals. So maybe she can be like a dog walker. And I was like, well, so we're going to have a cat that takes dogs for walks. And it, what decides which ones are anthropomorphic and not kind of like, um, how like Mickey Mouse has a dog named Pluto. Who's also, you know, it's like, I don't know. How does that work? So 
I was like, I kind of like that. Actually, I kind of like that idea of thinking of a, a dog walking cat. But in the end, I decided we will make this deer and and she will be hanging out reading to some kids. I think I'll make a little frog frog boy. I don't think I... I don't think, have I... Oh, yeah, I that made that cranky frog at the summer camp with uh, Pondo. I'll make this frog really happy. Also, frogs never have teeth, so I want to make sure this frog has really big teeth. He's really pleased. Oh, you know what? Just to really make him a kid. Propeller cap. Just like that. And he can be sitting crisscross applesauce on the floor here. And I'll give him a stripey shirt like Ness over there. And I'll, I won't make his pants falling down, but I'll make the ever so slightly amount where you can see his... It's back sticking out, but I won't put his butt crack on there. And then we have, let's see, so we got one kid. Let's put, uh, hmm, we need another animal. Let's put like a, just like the back of like a, like a chipmunk. Or a hamster or something. Just some sort of vague animal there. And since I already mentioned a horse, let's put a horse over here. I'll just flush that out when I ink that in. And what else? Um, how about a... And I'll make a... How about a snake? It's a snake, but he's not gonna... He's not gonna hiss and boo. Because he's a good kid. I'm gonna give him a shirt. I'll give him a tank top, even though he doesn't have an arm there to stick out of it. How does that sound? Does he need a hat? Now we, yeah, you can go hatless. And, hmm, I got room. Maybe I'll put one more kid over here. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, and since we like, I, that's right. Since she likes cats, let's, let's get one cat over here. It's Friday. We're one day shy of Catterday. We'll get one little kitty over here. Just a really, just a cute little simple smiling kitty. Mm -hmm. And I think that'll be appropriate. So maybe I'll just sketch in like a quick little like library background in here. And then we'll just jump ahead to inking. How does that sound? Let's put it like sitting on a stool here. Okay. All right. We'll jump ahead to ink here in just a sec. Yeah. i sketch for a few seconds. I'll fill that in. I think I'll do these books. I won't line them in. I'll just kind of put them in lightly with watercolor and then that way they don't just stand out too much. I kind of want that just to be the background focus and, and want everything more of the focus to be aimed at what's going on right up here with Ellie. I'm just thinking of how nice and peaceful the library is. The Biblioteca, the Toshokan in Japanese. <laughs> and even though it's a little horse-like, I'm still going to do that hair. I think it'll still be. First I was like, oh yeah, deer with like horns and da-da-da. I'd love to see that. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. No, bucks have horns, not does. That doesn't work out. <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't do that. Then I'd be like, wait a minute, hold on. We need a doe, a deer, a female deer. And just very lightly drawing where those spots are going to go. Actually, I feel like I drew spots. Did I not do a deer? No, I did not. You know, I'm thinking of the uh, owl, the giraffe. And somehow this deer is able to hold that really nicely with these little front hooves. And I know it's like with these animals too, you go like, oh, should I get, make, do we make joints like, like regular human joints with elbows and things? Or do you go more like with the animal joints, which makes it tricky for them because they wouldn't be able to sit in a chair very well. So many choices and dilemmas along the way. And there we go. Oh, I forgot to think about what should be, what should be on the, uh, on the picture here in the book. I didn't think that far ahead either. As you can tell, it's always very, very thought out. I'm kind of give her this flowy, 
flowy dress because Walt sent me one picture from to kind of go on for for Ellie and she had like a really really super cool dress on and I kind of want to capture that a little bit so she's there and oh I know what we'll do for a story it'll be a, a story about being somebody's birthday because then we could obviously just we could just put a picture of a cake right here with some candles and then on a table we don't have to go too detailed with this and then on the other side we'll put some and we'll put like there's just sort of too small to read text you know everybody needs an eye exam we'll put some balloons over here and a gift and We'll just put some sort of vague, vague character here. And we'll have some of the writing like, she got a present. She was standing in front of balloons. Next to her is an oversized cake. Dun, dun, dun. There. Doesn't that story look riveting? And then we'll just put in that. Do, do, do. This little character, we'll sketch these guys in. Here's our like little hamster i'm not a hamster person yet either so much left undone so much done and left undone i don't have to get to it we just got like word through at work that uh because i work at the hospital and and so things have been slow because all like elective surgeries are on hold so anybody that doesn't need like an emergency can wait so it's been slow but now just today here in Minnesota, our governor is green lighting it to start doing some of that stuff again soon. So I'll start being busy at work again, coming up pretty quick. And then if I'm busy at work again, I I have deep fears, deep, deep fears that I will, <laughs> I don't have deep fears, I have to go back to work all the time. That's a good thing that I won't have the just the spare time like I've had in the past to do these videos on a regular basis like I do right now, but I do want to keep them going for as long as I can when on a regular daily basis. And after that, maybe I can still just kind of do them, but just not as regularly. We'll see how it goes. We'll see what happens. There's that frog boy. It was kind of funny when this I started doing this was I thought of this like back in the fall or so about doing these videos. I thought about Ampersand Island and doing these illustrations at least. And then when this whole thing started going down and I thought I had more time at home, I thought that I had more time to do work on an art project. And then uh, it was at the same time I was completely unaware of Animal Crossing actually coming out and it was like that's the idea I've had of Ampersand Island only at Animal Crossing's on an island like that's sort of the idea I had because Lola was begging for that game and I was like oh there's a new new Animal Crossing game and because I hadn't played one of those since I had one on the GameCube like at least 10 years ago so it is what kind of I had the idea before but that kind of coming out triggered to really get it going again but trying to make it my own thing and not feel like I'm just trying to do some sort of Animal Crossing knockoff because obviously it's not because I got some pretty peculiar characters here so you know what? I'll just quickly finish inking in this a little bit of this background on the shelves and then we're just gonna go into turbo paint mode so I'll see you on the other side of turbo paint away All right, here's Ellie the Doe. She is just reading this birthday book to all the kids at the local Ampersand Island Library. And uh, yeah, I think that was really great. Um, 
Yeah, because Walt uh, just reached out to me and asked me about doing this. And I was like, of course, this is going to be a lot of fun. So hopefully um, Ellie doesn't mind being this deer hanging out at the library. And I'll have to catch up with Walt again sooner or later. He's a guy that I've known for a few years, too. And I usually only catch him out if I go out to some sort of live music or some sort of live event, which I don't do very much. I'm usually um, at home and hanging out with the kids and, like, hanging out in my yard. So, um, so whenever I do catch Walt, it's usually just out in the wild randomly if I catch him out at some sort of event. So he's a good guy who knows just like, I'm always impressed with his, his like obvious love and excitement about music. Um, and just his like incredible knowledge. So it's always good running into Walt and, uh, talking about music and records and getting in over my head on, you know, his, you know, vast knowledge of that stuff versus my just a little bit enough knowledge to be to be dangerous so so i think this will do it for the episode today guys happy birthday ellie i'll see you guys tomorrow for the weekend and i hope ellie i hope you have a wonderful birthday bye